Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to uh, the Red Bull Battlegrounds New York. We are done everything but the third place matchup, which we are doing right the hell now. It is MC up the top right side of the map and Scarlet up the top left side of the map. And this is a map I don't quite remember. Uh, maybe I do remember, I can't remember. <laughs> but this is a pretty interesting map. Uh, yeah, so that's looking pretty, pretty awesome. Actually, I think there was a, in the Red Bull Grand Final series, there was some map which had lava in it. Like, the lava actually jumped up every minute or two in the center of the map. That was crazy. I think that was a Red Bull. Maybe it was something else, I can't remember, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing anything crazy this time, but yeah, I mean, so it's so far... So far, the Protoss players have been uh, trying to uh, dominate this tournament, and they've done a pretty good job so far. I mean, uh, they go, there were three of them in the semi-finals, and then there were two of them in the grand finals, and they've tried their very, very best to knock the last remaining non-Protoss player out, and Scarlet did get knocked down to the third place by SOS, but... She is determined not to get knocked out of third place by MC. She's determined that the Zerg should get at least third place, if not the winnings. And yeah, she's she's making a go for it. I mean, she's currently 1-0 in this matchup with some beautiful uh, Mutaling play. Um, she didn't she didn't really get the 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 Basically, she macroed her way out of the entire situation. She didn't, uh, I mean, she was going up against Blink Stalkers, and any, any bronze level player knows that if you go up muters against Blink Stalkers, you are going to have a very bad day. But Scarlet just macroed her way out of it. She just said, you know what, screw it, I'm going to get a million mutalisks, and then just throw them against the Stalkers and see what happens, and in the end, she ended up winning, so it was, <laughs> it was pretty awesome, and MC, man. He, he may be coming to the same realization that uh, SOS did, which is basically that Phoenix are a good idea. That's, um, that's a mainstay that we saw from SOS when he was facing off against Scarlet in their semi-finals, was a lot of Phoenix, and Phoenix just wiped the floor with muters. I mean, you think Blink Stalkers are a counter towards muters? Phoenix are a counter towards muters. If you micro correctly, you can kill every single muter in the game without losing a single Phoenix. They're just so much faster. You get the range upgrade and their range is phenomenal. I mean, it's crazy. But then, of course, um, you know, Scarlet, Scarlet would just get Corruptors in that case. I mean, we've seen it against SOS. He pulled out the Phoenix, Scarlet pulled out the Corruptors, and Scarlet won. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I do not know. I mean, Eventually, eventually SOS came back in that tournament, but he is using some very, very crazy tactics. I mean, at one point, I think he got every single unit in the entire game. Maybe not the, maybe not their carriers, but he had everything else throwing it against Scarlet, and he, he managed to get it done, but yeah, it's, it's very, very tough. It's very, very tough. You have to start pulling out the Void Rays, you have to start pulling out the Archons, you have to start pulling out I don't know, Colossus, Colossus maybe not, but it's it's really, really crazy. Anyway, it looks like these Ling are very, very crazy, man. Just running circles around the Zealots, trying to get in, trying to do some damage, trying to, I don't know, keep the scout off or get some workers. He could possibly get some workers here. I mean, four Lings. Oh, here comes the Stalker, though. Oh, and the Zealots turning around at the right time, and the Ling's starting to get absolutely owned. So, turns out they don't get anything, but they did keep that... Uh, they did keep those zealots from doing a scout, which is good. And Scarlet, at the five and a half minute mark, has already got her third base fully up. So she's looking pretty good. She's uh, not really kicked off a macro yet. She's only five workers in front, but that will go crazy in a very small amount of time. But first of all, she has to deal with these guys, who are actually going straight to the third base, and they could potentially kill it. I mean, there's ten links coming out, but I don't know, maybe... Maybe they can make it happen? Where are all those Lings? They've got to, got to throw all of the Lings against this force. And I think they may be able to do it here. The Queen is a backup. But look at the positioning of MC. Beautiful positioning there. But now he is out in the open. And the Queen is going to go down. But the Zealots are going to go down to Ling attack. Which is not something you see every day. And now the Lings are going to be chasing the Stalkers away. And with an additional Queen coming out, I think 
Scarlet may have it. I don't know if she's going to win this battle, but she should at least keep her hatchery alive. And that is the main thing. You see, she's actually going for like seven workers, man. She is confident, but MC is keeping the pressure on right here. And he's also going for a Stargate, going to go for an early Oracle, which is going to be cool. So not Phoenix, but an early Oracle is going to be quite a pain in the ass. Although Queens should be able to knock it away as long as the Queens have a bit of health, which these guys don't actually. These Queens are... Uh, on the edge of death, and Ling's trying to get out, but they don't have speed, and without speed, they can't really swarm over the Stalkers, like I know Scarlet would love to get them to do, and we're going to see a heal on this Queen here. He desperately needs a Quill. She desperately needs a Queen, a heal. Here we go. The Ling's trying to find the Stalkers, not quite finding them, but speed is on the way. And there we go. The Ling's, are they going to take out these Stalkers? Yes, it looks like they are going to swarm around them. The Stalkers have no chance at all. They don't have blink, so they're going to go down. We do have an Oracle followed up by Roidway. Here comes the Oracle. Let's have a look at the kill tag. Dude, wake up. Start killing stuff. He's going for the Queen. I don't know if this is a great idea, but he's, he's, he's going for it. He's making it work. And apparently, Oracle versus Queen, the Queen does go down. But uh, what, is, what is the Oracle going to do? He's going to be taken out by a second Queen. So killing a Queen and getting away scot-free is a pretty nice chance. <laughs> Look at the Lings, man. That's just target practice for the Void Ray right here. And the Lings choosing not to go into the base, I suppose. Yeah, look at look at this, man. They can knock it in there. But a bunch of Void Rays coming out. Which is an interesting choice. Because Void Rays, I mean, what are you going to be killing with those Void Rays? And Scarlet would have to go Roach Hydra for the Void Rays to be any good at all. I mean, they, these guys are useless against Muters. They're useless against Lings. So why are you going for it? Unless MC wants to go for some really, really early pressure and use the Void Rays to start shredding some buildings early on. I just don't know because against Muta Ling, it's not going to be that good. I mean, Scarlet's actually... Yeah, she's got a Spire on the way. She's got a few Hydras. I'm starting to think that Hydras are just part of her game plan. She likes to get a few Hydras out nice and early just to buff up her defense, buff up her, uh, her muscles a little bit because Mutas take quite a while and they take quite a lot of gas. So getting some Hydras out... Nice and early, allows her to get a little bit of an advantage against units like Zealots and Stalkers to keep her keep her alive a little bit longer until the Muta production starts pumping into overdrive. And yeah, it does take a it does take a little while. I mean, the Spire takes ages to get down. The Mutas take ages to get out. You need to have the gas income. So yeah, a few hydras out, nice and early, evens things up, especially against anti-air, especially against early things like oracles drop ships from the Terran player, um, all that sort of stuff. I mean, if you just got Queens to deal with that at the 10 minute mark, you are not going to be a happy camper. So yeah, definitely a few Hydras early on is going to be good. But here we go, the Muta tech is out. We do have five Mutas coming down. We do have a ton of workers coming down. Scarlet's currently 17, 16 workers ahead, so she's well in her comfort zone, continuing to build up. Probably going to go for the 80 mark again. The Oracle managed to get up to 5 kills, but the Mutas have taken it out. And MC instantly going to be going for some Phoenix. So this is going to be the counter right here. Is our only hope at Salvation. Because Scarlet, her macro is over the top, man. She's got a 4th base. Just about finished. She's got a 5th base over there. God knows why she's building over there. But evidently she decided that uh, MC would never look there. And the Mutas coming in nice and fast. We have a look at units killed. Five workers have gone down so far. Probably most of them being killed for their muters. And she's just going to be just chased away right there. But look at this, man. She's going to be building the gas over here as well, straight away. The gas income is nuts. I mean, look at that. 900 gas a minute. How often do you see 900 gas a minute out of a player? It's very, very rare. But that's off four bases. And soon it's going to be five bases as well. So she might even top 1,000 gas per minute. And that's, that's, that's like nine muters. A minute nine meters every single minute and these I mean that's a lot of muters that means over five minutes you end up with 50 muters and 50 muters is too many muters it's it's almost impossible to deal with 50 muters I mean so that's in five minutes you've gone from nothing to an impossible muter army but Scarlet has seen the Phoenix instantly going for corruptors instantly and MC realizes that he needs the range upgrade for Phoenix going for the fleet beacon that's the only thing I can think of he'd be getting out of that fleet beacon I mean, a full mothership, carriers, maybe there's a Void Ray upgrade in there somewhere, I don't know, but probably not a great idea. But yeah, the Phoenix range is 
almost 100% necessary considering you're going off against Phoenix because they're just so fast and they, they can run away from you. So the, the range upgrade, I mean, it keeps your Phoenix nice and safe. And here we go, Lings, we've got Hydras, we've got Corruptors coming out. You see the Mutas can't even get a range of the Phoenix and with the range upgrade, it's even more stupid. But here we go, a couple of Corruptors coming out and the Phoenix have to start being scared of those Corruptors because the Corruptors will shred the Phoenix. Here we go, Cannon comes down. The Phoenix is going to be hunting back, but here we go. Corruptor is going to start hitting them right there. And they're doing a pretty good job. The Phoenix are, are of course, armored units, so they take quite a bit of damage from the Corruptors. And, oh, here we go, though. MC, man. The Void Rays, which I said were going to be useless. The Corruptors are going to start to feel the stink of the Void Rays right here. And suddenly, Scarlet is in a lot of trouble because, of course, Corruptors, man just have no way to deal with Void Rays. I mean, you need the Muters to deal with the Void Rays, but I mean, look at this, the Phoenix uh, range upgrade nearly finished, and if MC keeps on the tail, look at this, three, three Phoenix coming out at the same time. Scarlet is in trouble right now, because once again, she has been severely countered, and this time, I don't know if she can back her way out of it, because MC is up to 70 workers, is doing an insane amount of stuff. Scarlet has reached 1,100 gas per minute, that's the most insane gas income we've ever seen. We've got a couple of Hydras actually in here. And the the Corruptors coming out, trying to do some stuff. The, uh, the Muters are basically all dead. The Corruptor Force is starting to get very, very scary though. And once she takes out all the Void Rays, she might be okay, but two more Void Rays are coming out. So MC is switching over to heavy Void Ray production. And this is good, but the Void Ray is almost all out. And unfortunately, the sentries are doing a, quite a lot of damage. And here we go, though. The Corruptors chasing after the uh, Phoenix. Trying to take them out. Two more Void Rays come out. But if Scarlet can maintain the lead she's got in air, the uh, air superiority, then she may be able to take this game out. I don't know if she can, but she's going to try. She's going to try absolute hardest. The Phoenix right now are being absolutely owned. The Void Rays are not being produced fast enough to deal with the Corruptor. She has the Corruptor advantage. And MC has no way of dealing with this amount of Corruptors right now. I mean, there's Stalkers. No way. He's not building enough Stalkers to have that. And he's using all his gas on air tech. Phoenix. Phoenix are useless versus Corruptors. He's got a single Void Ray. And that Void Ray is going to die in two seconds flat to Corruptor Fire. And MC, man, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything to deal with the Corruptors, man. Stalkers. No, the Muters would wipe him out too fast. There's just too many Muters on the map. Scarlet's income is insane. Her gas income is 1,400. Look at this. She's got gas over on this base as well. She's building two more bases. She's currently mining gas in six bases, and she's hoping for a seventh and eighth one right there. That's the most insane thing I've ever seen, and this is how she's able to build so many muters, so many corruptors, keep them going. And MC, man, what? I mean, he got some good units. He got the Void Rays. He got the Phoenix, but... Scarlet just macroed her way out of trouble once again, just macroed her way out of trouble. I mean, 79, but most of them are harvesting gas. It's insane. And now with Hydra reinforcements as well, just with the Lings, with the Muters. I mean, she's... There is no way that MC can win this game. Not at this point. I mean, the Phoenix... With, with the Corruptor support, the Phoenix got nothing. And all MC is doing is building the Phoenix. I mean, go for three Void Rays or something like that. See if he can start to shred the Corruptor numbers a little bit, but no, he's just going for Phoenix. And his Stargates have been shut down by some nice pylon kill. And MC, man, he's got to be thinking about a GG right here. The Phoenix are all going down. The Muters are taking care of business on the ground. There's nothing left. A bunch of Zealots are going out for a walk. I don't know what they're thinking of doing right here, but they're going to get killed by Muters at some point. And uh, yeah, the Muters coming back, trying to, figuring about, um, just taking those guys out. And man, oh man, look at this gas on this one as well. 1,600 gas per minute. That has got to be a record. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bases have, are harvesting gas at the moment. 1,600 per minute. Wow. Just wow. Absolutely insane. But how many Muters did she have at the end? 24. She's losing a fair amount of them. I mean, to Phoenix, I mean, how many did she lose? 39, so... By the 20 minute mark, she had built a total of, uh, 63 muters. Which is pretty, pretty freaking awesome. I mean, that's 63... That's six... Just over 6,000 gas that she had to have mined by that point. And that's a lot. 
that's that's quite a lot so yeah but that's it i mean there we go scarlet taking out the second game this is a best of three so she takes out third place i think third place gets six grand fourth place gets four grand something like that and so scarlet choosing not to bow down to the uh, protoss threat the overwhelming amount of protoss in this tournament doing awesome stuff but in the end scarlet holds on to third place and um MC gets bumped down to fourth, so congratulations to her for a very, very well-placed game and some of the most insane macro we have ever seen, just expanding, expanding, expanding. Scarlet expands like a crazy person. She's like, um, was it, like, like, like a kleptomaniac or something like that, where she just, it, it's a disorder, man. It's an actual disease. This, I don't know what it's called, but the desire to get every single hatchery in the entire map it's some sort of illness, and Scarlet has got it, and she's got it bad. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's any treatment available for that, but we, we, we will have to, uh, we will have to see. So, anyway, that has been a third place matchup. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned. We may be doing some more tournaments later on. Um, I, I really don't know. I'll, I'll have to think about Dreamhack Winter. Because it's, it's a loser's bracket and it's, it's kind of weird. So I'll have to think about doing that. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game. Stay tuned.